I put GPT 5.2 head-to-head versus Opus 4.5 to see which one is actually cheaper for real coding tasks. I gave both models the exact same prompt, tracked every single token, and calculated the true cost. For this test, I asked both models to build a Space Invaders game from scratch. Let's see what happened. Both models delivered working code that compiled and ran, but the Opus build had issues, there was no start screen, and the aliens fired way too many bullets, it was too fast and you just couldn't keep up with it. Technically, it was functional, but not really playable. GPT 5.2, on the other hand, it had no bugs and was ready to play straight away. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Look at the per token pricing. GPT 5.2 is almost three times cheaper on input and nearly two times on output. Despite this, the total build costs were actually similar, 15.4 cents versus 16.2 cents. So GPT 5.2 used more tokens. There was only a 5% difference in the initial build cost. And now to the Opus 4.5 repair. To fix a bug via API, you have to send all the existing source files as context so the model knows what it's working with. That's 32,000 input tokens just to set up the fix. The repair prompt alone costs 31 cents, almost double the original build. And even after the fix, the game was still a bit too fast to be properly playable. So let's look at the final numbers. GBT 5.2, 15 cents, one shot, working game. Opus 4.5, 48 cents total after the repair and it still needed more work. That's three times more expensive for a worse result. The takeaway, raw token prices don't tell the full story. If a model needs extra iterations, those costs add up fast. Link to the full breakdown is in the description if you want to check that out.